everything we do here really is handmade and that's really appreciated by customers. I kind of have bought my father rubbish birthday presents for the past 30 years or so and thought the globe would be a really good one for his 80th birthday. So I hunted around, I went to auctions to try and find one and there was nothing available that um, was suitable. So I had a slightly mad idea to try and make one. I gave myself three months and it took me two years. What attracted me to working with glow painting is kind of how magical it is. <laughs> it's a very appealing object. I think we all kind of have a bit of an obsession with globes and maps and it takes you back to your childhood. It's very therapeutic in a way. I think craft is really having a resurgence at the moment and we are doing a handmade bespoke product. The process of making a globe kind of starts in cartography with the graphic designers. They will edit the map according to the customer's specifications, get it printed, cut, then they come to the painting team, we'll put several layers of uh, watercolour washes on the strips of paper and go back to the making team. They will kind of very delicately plaster the gores into the sphere, comes back to the painting team and will paint all the details, make sure that it runs as a single object and then it gets sprayed and glossed. One of my team actually introduced me to Hall Chairs. The painters essentially will spend all day painting and, and they needed something that can give them um, really good support. What's so appealing about the design? It's not chunky, it doesn't take a lot of space. The studio is quite uh, tight fitted, so it's quite nice that there is lemon discreet. We go to the best facilitators, so we, um, we have things made by Aston Martin technicians, we have things made by Formula One fabricators, so it makes sense. We need to go to someone who takes pride and who makes an incredibly good handmade product, and that's for me why Hawk is such a good company to work with.